We are looking at the OAI 5000 right now. Um, and we're going to load the mask in. That, is that 9 inch mask? I believe we're using 8 inch wafers with it. Uh, six, inch. 6 inch wafers right now, okay. So that's probably a 7 inch mask. Uh, I guess. Putting the mask clamps on. You just have to screw in the mask holder then? Yes. Alright, just need to be tight for when it does its gap. It's leveling. There's also a bunch more tooling that we've got with the tool here. I believe they're running 8 inch. 8 inch wafers as well. Okay, we're setting the mask holder back in. How's it going? And what we're going to do now is we're going to start a process. We're going to do, uh, we'll do the first two wafers here. Start. The start button. Okay, we're going to show the cassette to cassette operation here. Picking up a wafer. That's the pre aligner? Yep. Now doing the chuck leveling process. Exposure is done then? Yes. Now it's going to go and recover the gonna, original recover, disc. Recover yeah. the wafer in a minute. First wafer is done. Now we get the second wafer. So what happens when it goes back there? Which? Uh, it looks like the, oh, that's probably just the arm, I guess. Yeah, that's because that one that goes back. That goes back, okay, but the wafer's right there because it's yep, just exposed. Yeah, the wafer's still right up front. Got it. So now the arm's going to come back. Yep. What it, what it does now is it purges the, the chuck area mm -hmm. so that the wafer will release easy. So that's what it's doing now, it's slowly, and it'll come down, the wafer will come down and be unloaded. I see. Okay, once this is done, can you show us any features um, on the uh, dashboard, so to speak, here? Sure. We're coming down now. There we go. And there's the wafer. So get the ground wafer. Okay. Okay. 
All right. So we have some controls here. Uh, we have a skip function where if you didn't want to uh, do part of the process, if you wanted to not align the targets or something, mm -hmm. you can do a skip. It'll move to the next step, which would be to expose. Uh, we've got a mask in, mask out function here, which will move our mask holder in and out in case we need to get into the chuck. Okay. Okay, we've got a contact back function, so we can bring our wafer up and do a contact. Um, step would be, if you're doing everything manually, you would just, every time you wanted to move to the next function, you would hit step, and here's our mask clamp, which holds our mask up. Okay. We also have a, uh, for our cameras, we have a focus and zoom for our left camera, and a focus and zoom for our right camera. And then we have our joystick, which can move the chuck, and also move the cameras, so we can make all of our alignments. Okay. Uh, we have our system uh, readings, our mask vac, substrate vac, if, the, if there was a wafer on there now, the system vacuum, system nitrogen, and the air coming into the system. Uh, we also have our contact vacuum adjustments for how much vacuum, and then also how much purge we're gonna use for contact vac, and here's our flow meter for the nitrogen. Okay. Uh, we have our trackball for our, uh, our windows, software. Okay. And this is a software. Is there yeah. anything special about this that uh... we have here now we have up our video screens so we can move um I'm sorry I'm on right here. There we go. And we can move our cameras to line up with the our targets. I'm not sure what the targets are on this particular mask, but you can see that things are functioning. We can move one camera independently, uh, both cameras at the same time, and then we can we can focus. Make sure that is working, which it is. That's going out of focus. We're coming back in now, and let's see if our zoom is really working. You would use the joystick here to align the targets once you found them onto your mask and your substrate. Let's see if we can, I don't know where, let's see if we can find something real quick here for you on the video. But what you can do also with the system is once you do find the targets, you can then click on this button here, which will then save those coordinates in the system for you. So mm -hmm. next time, they automatically go right back to that same location again, so you don't have to keep searching for them each time. Okay. Uh, we have a uh, our process screen, which we have to log in first to do that, which we can do real quick. Uh, password on this tool is uh, OAI, so we have it on video record. So we can set our gap in microns, if we want a gap, when we expose, our time for exposure, proximity, soft, or vacuum, um, contact, or, or exposure. We set our purge time so that the wafer releases properly from the mask. We have our process name, the diameter of the wafer, the orientation of the flat or notch, uh, your mask thickness, your bottom and your starting slot, your ending slot. We can save all this. We can set the optics in here too and save all this information here. Okay. We also have a... So you could have, uh, for different wafers, different masks, you could have different settings. Correct. Different recipes, so to speak. Right, those are all the different recipes. And then we also have a maintenance screen where we can do any diagnostic or manual manipulation of all the axes on the system. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, 
what I'd like to do is to see what's going on with this one. Covers off right now. There's covers that go over this. 